Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Alishan Ma here. Welcome to my little table. Today in this video, I have got here the SES Pro motion control electric screwdriver. The most basic tool of repair is on a screwdriver. As a DIY maker, DIY project builder, and an RC guy, I do a lot of repairs, I do a lot of builds in my daily life, and I can tell you a screwdriver is my best friend. If you are an RC guy, if you work with uh, FPV racing drones, if you work with little uh, FPV whoops and FPV drones, I mean, if you are an RC guy, you know how important a screwdriver is. I used to build a lot of custom drones and use my hand for all the screwdrivers and putting in longer screws using hands and I can tell you I actually developed tendonitis. Well lucky us now we have these kind of electric screwdrivers. This here is a SES Pro motion activated electric screwdriver which puts out two kilograms force per centimeter square maximum. That's a lot of force. In fact, that's more than enough for you to repair your FPV racing drones and your RC repair needs. If you're repairing mobile phones, if you're repairing computers, this thing offers more than enough power for you to use. So let me get the camera closer, give you a closer look at this screwdriver and talk about its features to show you what comes with it. And then we'll try to open some things just for in just to take an example and see how good this thing is actually gonna work. So this is the Aeromex or the SES Pro motion controlled screw electric screwdriver. This is how I received it. Let's talk about this case first. Very nice metallic case, kind of CNC done. Okay, and look at that. I mean, click and you can bring it out, put it back in, click and lock it and you can carry it really, really easily. Uh, even in your pocket you can carry it. So this is the first thing that I actually like about the SES Pro uh, electric screwdriver. Now inside, look at that, how nicely it is packed and I believe it came with 34 bits, very nice bits. Look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 334, oh, man, I cannot even count. So yes, there are 34 bits but that came with this Aeromax or SES Pro motion control electric screwdriver. Right here, this is your electric screwdriver. Also, uh, if you're talking about the case right here, you can see the magnetizer and demagnetizer uh, areas are already here. So you can magnetize your tips and you know your screws, uh, the screws that you're handling with or opening or closing, they will stick to your tips, okay? So this is this, this is the Aeromax screwdriver, electric screwdriver right here. Very nice build with these corners all around. You can actually hold it like a real screwdriver and you know work with it very nice and compact and really very comfortable in my hands there's an on off switch right here OLED HD screen yes they say this has an OLED HD screen a built-in 32-bit microprocessor for motion control there are four LED lights right here which do not cast any shadow okay and you can easily put your bits uh, screw bits right here. So once you press the button, it turns on and the lights are on as well for you to see your workspace. For instance, this gimbal, very old gimbal, I took it here, for example, I want to see if this SES Pro motion control screwdriver will be able to open it or not. Now, uh, you can easily set the torque settings on auto or four different torque modes. So let me bring it closer and if you look at it, press this button three times and you have auto one which is being the most powerful two kilogram force per centimeter square two three four four being the less 0.5 kg uh, force uh, kilogram force per centimeter square so I will just put it on auto and leave it there because it will automatically sense how much force you need and it will do that. So when you want to work, you just add a bit in this. After adding the bit, you can just use it as a normal screwdriver and you can open the screws that you want. Basically, it just it works very well. You can see, you can open it. Of course, this is electric. So if you press and hold this button and then it will sense your motion and uh, start rotating clockwise or counterclockwise automatically. So press and hold and you can see it also shows you that now the screw is going in. 
I hope you can see it. Okay, and if I move here, as you can see, when I move, the speed increases. Otherwise, the speed is very slow. Right here, you can see how nicely it's sensing the speed. Slow, fast, slow, stopped, fast. So the motion sensing is really very, very nice. So let's open these two screws. Just gonna push. Wow, wonderful, man. Before you have to do this, now you have to do only this. Press the button, move it left. Just move your screwdriver left and it actually takes the screws out. How wonderful, awesome. And there you go, the top is off already. Okay, let's try to open these which is which are holding the propellers and they seems to be a little bit tougher let me find the right bit for it yep this fits so let's see if we can open this okay hold on first let me put that one those screws back on so that because i don't want to open this all i'm just giving you a demo of this screwdriver Oh, so nice. I'm feeling really, really very nice. How awesome, how easy it is for me to put in a screw right there. See, hold, press and hold the button. Move, slow or fast. I can control just using the motion on the screwdriver. It detects and does the job, okay? So this goes back here, comes this bit. And let's just open this one, okay? Press and hold the button. Okay, that screw is too tight, more than two kilograms force per centimeter square. But now it can open, so tighten. Oh, nice. Open. Awesome, it came. Like the initial force I can apply using the hand but the rest it takes over. Look at that. Just came out. Here goes my propeller. How easy it is. Superb. Let's let's try the tightening, okay? Oh hold on, I see some kind of hair on my motor. Where did the hair come from? Okay, so put the screws back on and let's tighten it. Oh man, this is this is simply awesome. And re if you don't have enough force on the electric side, you can simply use it as a you know normal screwdriver. So that was that. That was nice. Um, hold on. Let's see. This is my thruster, and I wanted to, I wanted to take it out of this shell. So let's try to open this one. Underwater thruster. Wow, that is enough force, man, I would say, for my daily needs right here. Superb. Nice. And there you go. The thruster is out. How wonderful it is, man. Okay, now I'm gonna put the screws back in. Let's see how good the SES Pro is to open this. It actually detects the motion. This screw is slipped. Rest of the screws are easily out. Man, this is 
this is really very very useful if you are into drones FPV racing drones uh, FPV whoops you know opening and closing you know repairing or building the drones where you have to put in a lot of screws and or take out a lot of screws when repairing putting them back in this is going to prove very very useful now if you want to charge this there's a USB-C port right here and you can plug it to any USB-C port and charge it right away once you are done with your work put it back here and put it back in click and lock carry it anywhere with you for your next repairs or just stow it away uh, for the storage on your table or anywhere in the drawers this is absolutely this is absolutely one of the best tools that you should have if you're working with drones FPV quadcopters RC stuff and or you know computers mobile phones and you do your daily repairs even if you are a modeler like even if you are a hobbyist who builds these kind of little models using Meccano and stuff like that wherever you need little screws work to do this SES Pro motion controlled electric screwdriver is going to be your best friend come on you know what to do hit that like button it's right there I know you can do it oh while you're at it also hit the subscribe button there come on don't be shy just hit it thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you hit that like button